Yeah, you know, it was an amazing feeling for us. We tried for the last 20 years to lift that Women's World Cup. So to eventually do it and eventually get our hands on the trophy was amazing. Um, the guys, you know, they've got a tough old group to get out of. So wishing them all the luck. And what do you do when you sat down with your team, when you were in the dressing room before that first game, before that final even? What do you, what sort of state of mind are you in? Are you, are you pumped? Are you trying to be calm, collected? Because obviously we're at home, England are at home. And so th there's added pressure there. Yeah, massively, I think, for the for us and no doubt for the guys, your first game is always kind of that real pressurised game. Everybody's watching you. They're looking for that ultimate performance. You've got some guys who are up a height and rearing to go, and then you've got probably the likes of George Ford, who's probably quite calm and considering thinking about what he needs to do. So you'll have to just manage that. But I think it's a great opening against Fiji. It's going to be a tough test, but it'll be really nice for them to get their World Cup off to a start. And what does the Twickenham crowd mean to you when you play there? I mean, what does it do to you? Do you I mean, do you, can you, do you actually feel your shoulders lifted a little bit higher? Yeah, Twickenham is a fortress, you know, it's a home of English rugby, so the fact that the guys are at home, that they're getting to run out, it's going to be packed tonight, they're going to have so much support behind them. People talk about that 16th man, and undoubtedly at Twickenham there's going to be, what, 80,000, no doubt, of extra support, that's going to really carry the guys home.